Yeah, quite a bit of argy-bargy going on during that race. Plenty of action, though, and fortunately for us, the rain, which was promised, held off, and we managed to get a decent race out of it. Antonio Albatetti would have been very happy starting from third on the grid, but as we got going the first time, unfortunately, we lost Jose Eduardo Rodriguez from the field as he was off in the gravel at turn one on the first attempt at the race start. That meant we had a red flag, and we then got everything started from the original grid positions. So a number of drivers, unfortunately, had to go backwards back down the grid to where they started, and others were given a second lease of life, let's say, and another go at the race this time round. Jose Eduardo would certainly not waste that, though. He really got on with it. The fans were excited for it. We were all excited for it. And as we got underway a second time, it was Norbert Kish that led us away once again, defending very well from Sasha Lenz at the start of the race. Unfortunately, Steffi Halm was knocked off in a lot of argy-bargy in the middle of the pack. But then some of the fight backs began, and in the Promoters' Cup, it was Stefan Fast going to the front ahead of Louis Requenco. John Newell fighting through as well, and working very, very hard to defend from Jose Eduardo Rodriguez. Unfortunately, though, it would come to naught after a bit of contact with Jose Eduardo would push John off the road into the barriers, and big, big damage to the number 18 machine would see a repair job for them taking most of the afternoon. We hope that they get it sorted for the final race of the day. There was also contact between Jose Eduardo Rodriguez and Mark Taylor as well. So still the investigations go on and we'll see how that will affect the reverse grid. But Norbert Kish takes another race victory with Sasha Lenz and Antonio Albazetti joining him on the podium. And we look forward to the final race of the day again very, very soon.